On today's episode, this critical metric about Russia matters more than ever. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. We live in strange times. A global pandemic is just starting to abate and now we have war in Eastern Europe. Now one consequence of that war is economic sanctions against Russia and the potential for even more disruption to global supply chains. Now making things today from jet planes to jello requires multiple inputs and manufacturers source those inputs at the lowest possible cost from vendors all over the world. There are some inputs however that represent choke points for global manufacturing. The most important of these are semiconductors. Now whether they're power semiconductors for inverters and grid scale power supplies or the microprocessors and smartphones, semiconductors are now the pacing item in the development and production of consumer goods from everything from airliners to toasters. And with the Internet of Things, we can expect to see them embedded in literally everything, from packaging materials to the clothes we wear. Now, semiconductor consumption is an excellent proxy metric for a nation's output of advanced goods. According to the Semiconductor Industry Association, Russia consumes one-tenth of one percent of the world's semiconductors. Now, the small size of that number surprised me. Now, Russia is clearly not short of critical semiconductors for military purposes, but when I travel in the Americas, Europe, or Asia, there is one thing missing everywhere, and that's Russian consumer goods. Three decades after the fall of communism, I expected to see Russian smartphones, flat screen TVs, cars, airliners, appliances, and other mass production goods everywhere. I'm still waiting. Now, I have a German and a Japanese car in my driveway. My laptop was made in Taiwan, my washer and dryer in Korea, and my TV in China. There is one Russian product in my home, and that's a bottle of vodka. Now, this pattern is common all over the world. To be a true world power today, it's necessary to have an engineering-led, manufacturing-driven, mass production economy. Now, that's the secret to the rapid rise of China, and it turned Germany and Japan from two disgraced and burnt-out disasters in 1945 into the important, respected, and admired nations that they are today. It's not about war anymore. It's about Walmart, Amazon, Alibaba, now, Russia has two major advantages, a literate, educated population and the biggest natural resource base in the world. And just as important, a century of popular support and admiration for science and engineering. Now, with these attributes, I would have expected that Russia would be where China is today. Now, manufacturing matters, especially of consumer goods. My Honda has been trouble-free for a long time. This reflects not only on the company, but on the intelligence and work ethic of Japan as a whole. Germany dominates Europe for the same reason. The Koreans are following suit. No propaganda and no military threat can deliver the soft power impact of widely exported, high quality manufactured goods. Low cost, durable consumer goods make people happy and they make people's lives easier. And they say something about the cultures that create them. The only examples of quality Russian goods that I can name off the top of my head are Kalashnikov and Stolishnaya. Change that, and in my opinion, Russia could have the global impact and importance of China, or Japan, or the US. And they can have that impact where it matters, in everyone's living room and in their back pocket. Well, that's it for today's episode of End of the Line, brought to you by engineering.com. If you like this show, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for our next episode. For our deeper engineering video series for the manufacturing professional, visit engineering.com TV to watch exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, not found here on our YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.